I invented this new mountain board part and today we're gonna to see how much this improves your mountain boarding. Okay, so by now you've probably seen the new DW3 out there on the market. I'm so excited to see you guys ride them all. Um, but what you probably didn't realize is how much research and development, what we call R&D, goes into these boards. I've had so many different variations of this deck and the trucks. We really do take the time to test it, wear it out, build it back up and make changes to these boards so they're the best they can be when they get into your hands. But the next thing we're testing out is this little guy here. This is an idea I've had for years and it's super cool to finally be able to, to make it. And if I think it's gonna work the way it's gonna work, it's really gonna change rail riding here for us mountain boarders. So without further ado, I'm gonna chuck this on and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it. Okay, so I think these are one of the first Matrix 3 trucks I started testing out. So they're pretty haggard and sketchy looking. But I've got the cross lockers on. The first thing I noticed is a little bit tricky to get the grub screws in just because I think the uh, Loctite's quite fresh and new, but I guess you want it to stay on there nice and tight. So that was the first thing. It was pretty easy to get on. The cool thing is actually, is that when your wheels, if you have your wheels on backwards like I do, um, and I do that because if you have the wheels around the other one, you sit on your wheel, you let your tires down, so that's just a little tech tip. But if you have them backwards like this, the cool thing is um, the valve stem clears the cross locker. So that's a huge plus right there. The other cool thing about the, uh, the cross lockers is you can move them anywhere up and down the truck. So I'm gonna start on the wider setting and then move them in and try and figure out a position that I like the most. Okay, so there's only one thing left to do and that's test these bad boys out. So I'm gonna check the board of the truck and then we're gonna to go to the skate park and see if these cross lockers lock. Okay, we're at the skate park. I don't normally love mountain boarding at the skate park, but there is a perfect flat bar here that I wanna try these cross lockers on. I'm gonna give them a little wax. I don't really know what to expect here, but I'm just gonna chuck some wax on there just in case. You never know what's gonna happen. The idea is when you do it. So the idea is when you do it 50-50 on the rail, you're not actually 50-50 in like this because you can't lock in. So most of the time, when I do a 50 on a skateboard, I'm either cross-locking like this on the wheels, or I'm on my heel side edge like this to hold the grind, to lock in on the rail. So that's what we're trying to do with these cross-lockers here on the mountain board tonight, is get it to lock in like that, or like that, and see if it helps this mountain board. All right, I'm gonna try the first ever one right now. It felt like it kind of worked. Definitely work that time. All right, three fifty fifties in. I can feel the cross lockers pushing up against. I can feel my heel pushing it into the rail and locking on to that backside edge, which is exactly what I wanted. It was good doing it a bit slow as well. The slow is a real test how much you can balance. I'm gonna try go out a bit more of the rail and see what happens. And I just started spitting with the rain. Oh my god. That time I did it on my heels. Getting a little bit longer. Oh, that's better. All right, I've done a few front side. Not the best 50 50s I've ever done, but it's raining, so I'm gonna try and do some backside 50 50s and see how that feels. Okay, rain is increasing here at Noble Park Skate Park. I'm gonna put you in a really bad angle. Wouldn't film anything normally like this, but hopefully you can see the trucks a bit better. All right, that is test session number one on the cross lockers. Initial thoughts, it's really nice that you can actually, um, when you're doing a 50-50 grind, you can really push your heels into the rail and hold the cross locker against the rail, which is the exact, exactly what I was hoping it was gonna do. It's definitely gonna let you sit on a grind, on a 50-50 grind longer and balance easier. First thing I am, I think I need to do is actually move the cross lockers, I don't know if you can see that. I need to move the cross lockers in. I'll show you another angle in a sec, but um, where I have them now, there is still the risk of uh, when the rail's on an angle like this, 
there's still a risk of uh, the tire rubbing on the rail. So that's the first thing I'll probably do is move this guy in a little bit. And the other thing I'm not sure about, I haven't decided yet, is if these actually need to be a little bit longer. The first couple of prototypes, we actually made them quite long, but they look quite ridiculous. So I'm wondering maybe I could make another five mil taller, just so you got a bit more room to lock in. But I'm not sure yet, I haven't made that decision yet. For now, I'm gonna move them in and see how it feels. I mean, ultimately it'd be cool to have it here, but uh, that's another story. So test one, happy with it. I'm happy it actually works and you can lock in, whether it's a cross lock or on your heels. Um, but it's raining, the lights are about to go out, so we might try a new location and I'll change these up a bit. I'll see you there. All right, we're back in another skate park. We're at the shed tonight and I'm gonna try and ride some of those rails with the new shorter uh, distance in the cross lockers. Let's see how we go. You can probably tell by the slow mos I'm only grinding a little bit of this fly out rail because it's so small. So I'm feeling pretty confident now. They're feeling really good actually. They haven't moved too much or anything like that. So now I'm going to try and straight 50-50 the flat down rail. This would be really hard normally without the cross lockers. So this is a really good test. <laughs> that was really ugly, but I made the whole thing more or less. Uh, it's pretty amazing that the, the cross lockers just held me on there. Normally I would have been straight off. I'm gonna try and get a smooth one. I was on both my heels that time, which was good. I was just, my weight was in the wrong spot. <laughs> this is the tripod. That right there is why I freaking made those things. Damn, that worked good. Hell yeah. All right, big game check. They're still on there. Got to be a bit more wear on the corners here, which is good. It's kind of cool. It might like be like a skateboard truck. On my skateboard trucks, I like grinding the hell out of my truck so I get a little groove in there so my, the rail sits in there. I think that might kind of happen on the edges here a little bit. Well, now I've done that one. These actually grind. I had a quick go before. These actually go, grind pretty well on a ledge. Maybe even better than before, but it could be a placebo, so I'm not sure. Have a look. Oh, I'm so dark, I'm so sorry. Okay, so you can see here, the coping of the ledge here is sitting on the cross locker. Normally your truck would be lower down. So it actually lifts you up on the ledge when you're 50 50 a ledge a bit higher, just a little bit, maybe like, I don't know, 10, 15 mil if I had to guess. Um, but I've been mucking around before, just doing some little grinds and it already feels pretty good. It actually feels like I'm locked in, but I could just be talking a lot of smack. So, before I was trying to switch back 50s, just mucking around. So I might try and do it on this little flat down ledge here. For the first time ever. All right, so it works pretty well on a ledge. Maybe next time we're at the skate park, we'll do some more experiments with that. But I just wanted that one for me. I'm gonna try a few slow 50-50 grinds because I feel like that's how well you can tell how well you're balancing if you do it slow. You haven't got the motion behind you. Going slower is definitely harder. More control. I'm gonna try it right now. All right, they're about to close the skate park. We're gonna head back to the van and head out onto the hill and see what else we can do with these cross lockers. This is Dylan from the future. So sorry to interrupt the video, but I just wanted to point something out. That last clip you saw was from there was about a year and a half gap between the last clip and the next clip and we actually completely changed the design of the cross locker. As you can see in this clip here, the cross locker was very rectangular and it had two adjustment screws. But what we learned was it was really annoying having to adjust the two adjustment screws and I wanted something you could change super quick with just an Allen Clee. If you're on a session, you want to move the cross lockers in or out depending on what you're riding. So we changed that to the... Um, one adjustment screw there which is actually worked out better and actually clamped into the truck a lot stronger um, so that was a huge thing and the other thing we changed was we made this point here a bit longer of a point so when you're grinding a rail it, you know there's less of a chance of you just slipping off the rail so that kind of locks you in a bit better and we put this cool logo on it as well so that was a huge change and it was about a year and a half gap between 
the skate park and what you're about to see now. <laughs> no way! I didn't think you were just gonna go that far straight up. I was flying. I did not need to go that fast. All right, here we are. So you've probably already seen the video of me doing the little creek grind, um, but we're actually trying out the brand new rail for the first time right now in this park near Joel's house. We've got the cross lockers set up on my brand new board. How nice does this look? And uh, we're gonna see if this this thing works. Come over here, Joel. So like I spoke about earlier. The idea is to be able to cross your board like this to stay locked into place. You can also do it on your heels like this. You never want to do this. So I'm going to probably start pretty low. Oh, perfect, here's the cops. And then work my way up so I'm feeling comfortable for when we head to the beach later on today. Man, this rail has been so much fun. With the cross lockers, they literally just, like the name suggests, it just locks you into place. On that last one, I was able to pop a 180 out. You probably, it would be a lot harder to do it without these on a mountain board, because the trucks are so big. Sometimes your wheels hit the rail. And when you're locked in like a cross lock, it actually feels like a skateboard. So that's pretty sick. Um, I'm gonna try and do the whole rail from the top to the bottom. But before I do, I've been testing these for about a year and a half. And I've hit a lot of different rails and ledges and different types of things with these cross lockers. So here's a few of those clips right now. Let's say bye to pod. <laughs> Let's put him under the pump. All right. All right, pod. What's your review of the cross lockers? Brilliant. See? Brilliant. <laughs> there you go. What should they do? The people at home, should they go buy some? Absolutely. Yeah. Have you got any words of wisdom? On the spot. Yeah. <laughs> on the spot wisdom, go. On the spot Three, wisdom. Two, <laughs> one, wisdom. Silence, man. Yeah, silence. Silence, silence. The best silence of wisdom. is golden. Perfect. Oh. There you go. Great to see you, mate. Woo! All right, guys. So, as you can see, at MBS, we put a lot of time into R&D. We've been testing these cross lockers for a year and a half, and we have a finally an awesome finished product, which will, in fact, take your rail game up a significant notch. They're available on the website now, and the cool thing is too, you can actually still grind a ledge on them. I forgot to mention that, and you can still grind coping. Maybe we'll do another video on that. But if you want to see more videos like this, let us know below. Hit subscribe if you haven't seen it already. Go check out when I set this up over a creek at the beach. It's pretty epic. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on the hill.